Good afternoon guys. It's been a good minute since I've uploaded, but here I am coming at you with another video. And to those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Ken, and this is my 2006 Pontiac Solstice. My life be like... Now, it's got a carbon fiber spoiler on, it's got no muffler, it's got no front bumper, and most of the interior is gutted. And I'm going to go on a little tangent here and explain the no front bumper situation. Basically, there is this amazing picture of this guy who made a custom front spoiler on the Solstice forums, so I wanted to copy that. But I didn't know that the Solstice bumper was just curved a little, so that when I put the splitter on, the splitter was also curved upwards, and that just looked horrible. So it was just sitting in my garage for about three weeks, and I have a few roommates, so the front bumper got moved around a little and that scratched up the paint a lot. So, it's just sitting in my attic waiting to get painted. And the reason for the green crash bar is, you know how at night you make dumb decisions? And one night I asked my roommate, well, what color should I paint it? And then they said, bright green. So, that's what happened to it. But honestly, I think that this car pulls off the no bumper and crazy green crash bar really well. But anyways, the point of today's video is to show you guys how to fix the e-brake on the Pontiac Solstice. Now I know this is a common problem and you can pull the e-brake all the way up and the car will still be rolling back. So I'll show you guys how to fix that today. All right guys, so the first step is to loosen the lug nuts with the breaker bar. They are a 19 millimeter and then jack the car up, put it on the jack stands and then take off the wheel. So the next thing you have to do is you have to remove this cover that's covering this screw back here. So you use a 7mm Allen key to get this screw out. And right here I'm using a 19mm socket just so I can gain more leverage on this screw because it's on there super tight. With that off, the next thing to do is remove the pin that's holding the caliper in place. So I had taken the brake pad off off camera, but to get the caliper off, all you have to do is give it a little wiggle. And behind there you can see the brake piston with two holes right in the middle. And what you do next is you take a pair of needle nose pliers and stick the ends into the holes and turn the whole piston clockwise until it can't turn anymore. So the next step is to reinstall everything the opposite order you took it out. And when you're putting the wheel back on, make sure you tighten the lug nuts to 100 foot pounds. And the last step in fixing the e-brake, you turn your car on, make sure it's in neutral first. Make sure your foot is on the brake pedal and crank the e-brake about six times. So that is how you fix 
the e-brake on the Pontiac Solstice. My life be like...